career politicians. Who needs them? Just listen to them. And what the experts at the home... The... Opposite, order. Opposition members are becoming overexcited. There's a long time to go, and I want to get to the bottom of the order paper. Mr. Ed Miliband. Let, let me say to the Health Secretary, I don't think the Prime Minister wants advice from him. Uh, uh, so, 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 so let, me, let me explain to him. It's about the fragmentation of commissioning. Right, you've got it. Okay, good. I'm glad you've got it. Maybe when you get up, you can answer the question. Now. They sound like a bunch of animals on the piss on a Saturday night, or a bunch of rutting chimpanzees, not elected politicians. This is just a game to these people. They don't represent you, they don't represent me. They are multi-millionaires looking after themselves, and they're banker chums, buggery all round for these boys. Do you think you really live in a democracy? <laughs> If you do, you are a complete fool. 83% of our laws are now dictated to us by unelected bureaucrats in Brussels. The EU Parliament is a show. They can't vote anything up or vote anything down. Same with our Parliament. It's an absolute joke. It's all an illusion. I bet you didn't realise that despite Cameron and his so-called veto of the European Fiscal Union, back in December, that he is now in fact supporting the idea of the removal of democracy across Europe. This means that this silver spoon fat faced traitor is going to sell you and I out and sign us up for further EU integration without asking the people. We will no longer be a sovereign nation if he has his way. The EU are doing all of this by stealth, by not asking the people. Because if one country asks its people if they want to be run by unelected bureaucrats out of Brussels, as history has shown us, they say no. The people of Britain will be run by an unelected dictatorship if David Cameron has his way. What did Monty, the technocrat who was placed in charge of Italy, say to Nigel Farage recently? He said that we had to suspend democracy. What did Merkel say to Farage recently? That if one country leaves the EU, then they'll all want to leave and the game will be up. We need to grow up as a nation, we need to start making noises about this. Come on people, we need to fight. <laughs>